And an Al Jazeera investigation has revealed that Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat may have been killed by the radioactive poison polonium. Now his widow wants his body exhumed for further testing. So what does polonium do to a person? Well, it's actually harmless when it's outside the body. But inside, it becomes one of the deadliest substances known. An amount equivalent to the size of a particle of dust is lethal. After being taken into the body, polonium quickly gets into the bloodstream. Then it bombards people's cells with millions of radioactive alpha particles. It damages the organs, first the liver and the kidneys, causing jaundice. It damages the intestines, causing toxic shock syndrome. And finally, it attacks the heart. Well, now let's go to Edinburgh, where forensic scientist David Barclay can uh, join us. Um, David Barclay, you're familiar with the symptoms that uh, Yasser Arafat felt uh, prior to his death. In your mind, does it sound like polonium poisoning? Yes, I think it does. I, I think we have found the smoking gun. Uh, I understand that the, uh, the scientists would like to actually find polonium in his body, but the odds against finding polonium in the belongings of anybody who has died of this sort of illness, it must be one in a billion. You don't have polonium on your clothes and in your saliva and so on, and neither do I. Uh, so I think this is the smoking gun. It is polonium. Um, we've just heard that an amount equivalent to the size of a particle of dust of polonium can be lethal. I know you just mentioned that, of course, you know, you and I probably don't have polonium on us. But what are the chances? Are there chances that perhaps Yasser Arafat was contaminated with polonium in other ways that weren't intentional? It, it, it's possible, I suppose. I can't think of a way that different possessions taken at different times and including urine from him and so on could possibly be all contaminated with roughly the same level of polonium. And I think the scientists demonstrated that that polonium started to decay at round about the right time for his death in 2004. It is eight years since his death. We've just heard that his widow, having seen the medical evidence, would now like to have his body exhumed. Do you think that an exhumation would give conclusive uh, proof one way or another? Yes, I, I, I do. I think it would give absolute proof. Uh, if we found polonium in his bones and in the the pulp cavity in his teeth and so on, which should still be in good condition. As the scientists who, who would be doing the task said, that would be absolute proof that polonium was in his body. And since we shouldn't have any polonium in our, in our body, no polonium 210 anyway, that's really good proof. Couldn't be better. Yes, Arafat's death was always a mystery at the time, and arguably still a mystery now. Why were these tests not done back in 2004? Uh, every possible test was done. Apart, there, there are so many toxic things in the world that you can't test for everything. But, but the people in France in particular really did an absolutely exhaustive battery of tests. And they tested for gamma radiation, which is the sort of normal radiation you could test for and really exotic poisons as well, as we've heard, thallium arsenic and so on. They couldn't really have done any more. And because um, the radiation from polonium is stopped by even one thickness of skin, or perhaps a millimeter of blood, you can't find it easily in the body. You need special techniques to look for it specifically. Um, and just finally, if and when uh, Yasser Arafat's remains were to be exhumed, uh, where in the world could these sorts of tests, which I uh, assume would have to be quite sophisticated, where would they have uh, to be held? So where would his remains have to go? I think they would have to go to the unit that found the polonium on his uh, possessions. So that would be Switzerland. But these tests would not be difficult. Now we've got the whole body, if we had the whole body, it would be easy and we could allow other departments to check them as well. So the secret really is to exhume the body and to test the bones and so on. Forensic scientist David Barclay speaking to us from Edinburgh. Sir, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And remember that you can read more on the exclusive Al Jazeera investigation, What Killed Arafat. Just go to the website, the address aljazeera.com.